when you win the lottery, like everyone has a massive sort of spike in happiness, you know? And it's instant. You've got everything you want, your mansion, your Ferrari, everything. Almost everyone, after a period of, of six to eight, 18 months, always returns to that same baseline of happiness. And that baseline is kind of dependent on how you are. Do you actually live to your, your real values? Are you a good friend to people? I, I always thought cycling was just going to be a hobby. They did some daft little tests. They put me on a rig for three minutes. They did like a three minute endurance test, a sprint test, and sort of an unloaded cadence test. And um, I think it was pretty normal for somebody to pass one or maybe two of them, but we passed all three off the back of zero training. That was the, the key point. And take as much ownership as you can about everything in life. I, I've been guilty of this as well. You know, when I look back at that, the other picture, the other person on that picture was Paul Manning. He became our coach a couple of years later. All of us, you know, all our pack of cyclists, we all at that time blamed Paul. And it's like, it's Paul's fault, it's the coach's fault. You know, we're doing his training. It's like, nah, like, that's totally wrong. We should have taken responsibility for our training. Ownership, take as much ownership as you can and you'll feel like you're in control of life, not just a leaf blowing around in the wind. Like, nah, I was, I was late to the scene, really. If you hear this story from Geraint, I was just known as the weird kid in the green skin suit because nobody knew who I was. I just turned up and yeah, I think I knocked out a bronze medal. So that's when I first met Geraint. You hear different theories from different people, like, oh yeah, why wouldn't you carry on? You still make a good living out of it. You're still making the team, you're still making selection. Why not keep going forever until you get kicked off? But I still think we've got the uh, potential to kind of go out in style in Tokyo. Me saying, oh, I want to be a professional cyclist was just a ridiculous pipe dream. Until the day we sat down with Johnny Clay in that <laughs> office and uh, Johnny Clay asked me, what do you want to do when you're older? And I was like, well, I can be a professional cyclist. I want to do it. And Johnny Clay, and like Kevin, my stepdad, just laughed and gave me a pat on the back. And he said, come on, like. And then Johnny Clay said, if you listen to me, we'll make it happen.